Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video about the items that I bought during January. Okay, so first off, because I did a complete video about this, I'll start off with this M. Mikalef, um Discovery set. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I just got right into it. I didn't say hello and welcome to everyone. I'm so glad you're here with me. Um, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, yeah. So, yes, as I was saying, I got this M. Mikalef. Um, discovery set it came with 23 is it 10 mil or 7 mils girl get it together 10 mil it came with 23 10 mil fragrances and I did a whole video about it I do enjoy lots of them from first um, impressions. And the only one that I have officially worn is the 30 mil that I got with the set. Girl, get it together. Is um, your Langan Gold Nectar. Such a beautiful fragrance. I did enjoy wearing this. And I'm happy that I have this set. Um, I think it was worth the money, especially since I got a little bit of a discount. And all of the trials are 10 mil, so that's what make it worth the money to me. Saying as though 10 mils cost about, I would say, $25 to $35 dollars. For the most part, there are some $50, 10 meals out there. So, I would suggest if you really want to try out this um, brand, maybe give this a try. It is quite pricey, but like I said, you do get the 30 mil of the Ylang and Gold Nectar. So, that made it worth it for me, and I'm going to enjoy playing with this. So far, as from what I can remember... I really liked the nectar fragrances, and it was one of these that was real fresh to me that I, that I enjoyed. And I keep, I want to say that it was, um, is it Des Desire to Toxic? I think it's this one, but I'm not sure. I have to play with these some more but they are some masculine flag fragrances in here also that I will be passing on but yeah I like that so the next one that I got is Electimus that I did its own video for also and let's see what I think today It's pretty much the same. So you can see my reaction on the video that I um, did by itself. It is a real mild fragrance to me. Um, I was hoping that it would be more projecting. But it's just okay in my opinion. I know a lot of people... I really enjoying this, but for me right now, it's just okay. So that's Electimus. Oh, the name of the fragrance is Trajan. So it's Trajan by Electimus. Now, I do want to try Imperium. Maybe I'll get a trial before I buy the whole bottle. But it'll get worn. And if it doesn't get worn by itself, I will be layering it. 
because I think this will be a good layering fragrance. But like I said, oh, there was the name. I didn't even realize. See it in the circle here. Trajan Electimus. These are beautiful bottles, though. So, yes. Please check out both of those videos about those two fragrances. Next, I got Bond number nine as a tester. It did not come with a top, but I had another top that went to another perfume that I used up that fits quite snugly on there. So I'm, I'm liking that. And um, this is Bond number nine, Lolita. I got it for a really good price, especially since it was a tester. And it was like $30, $40 less because it did not have a top. So I just went for it. This was one that I've tried and I wanted and I enjoyed. It is a fruitier, fresher fragrance. I have not officially worn it yet. But I know it has a tangerine note, so it's bright and pretty. It's a fruity floral. That's what I'm getting. And it seems like it has a bit of that airiness thing going on. I don't know the notes, but this smells really good to me. And from what other people said, it has great longevity and um, great sea lodge. Like you're going to get compliments. I'm not sure because I haven't worn it yet. I just remember when I did test them, this was one that stood out to me. It was Nolita and um, Tribeca that stood out to me. And now I have them both. So, I did have the box for this. I must have threw it away. I'm not going to look for it now, but I bought Rolling in Love by Killian I bought this off of uh, Macari. So I went on Macari and was like, ooh, they have all kinds of stuff on here. So <laughs> I ended up buying two fragrances off of Macari. So this was the first one, Rolling in Love. I got my full bottle. Um, as you can see, I've enjoyed it a bit. And this is a beautiful almond vanilla slightly sweet fragrance is very creamy nutty it's sultry to me i enjoyed wearing this this is a beautiful scent i am happy i have it i was trying to wait and not get the full bottle because i have a um 10 mil of it but i was like nope i want it so i went on and got it and I'm happy I did. I am really liking some of Killian's fragrances. And right now I know it's one more that I want fairly right away. <laughs> it's Moonlight in Heaven. But I'm trying to wait a little bit longer and try to look for a good price on it. So that's um, Rolling in Love, the Nutty Vanilla, beautiful, sultry fragrance. It's creamy. It's pretty. Oh, why am I smelling that? It's just really good to me. Glad I have it. So next, I bought... Where did I get this off of? Did I get this off of Macari? Or did I get this off of eBay? I can't remember where I bought this one. But it was one of the fragrances that I had been looking for. Um... If you all know, I love the diamonds. This is Lancome La Wee Treasure Caress. Girl, make sure. I can't see. Yeah, I think this is the caress that I have. Yes, it's the caress. So, this... I have not given it a fully a full wear yet, but I have sprayed it. 
and it is just as lovely sultry seductive um just alluring and beautiful as the rest of my diamonds i believe this one may have a almond note it has something in here that's a little bit different from the other ones but you're still getting that la wheat um dna but i think this is a little bit creamier than some of the other ones i'm so glad i have it it is almost full so it was well worth it to me at one point it was like as soon as i bought this one i was seeing them on um one of the discounter sites it was like they had all of them they even had um alifali that's one that people really look for and the musk diamant they had all of them so if you're interested in getting the la we treasure fragrances and flankers the fragrance you can always find but the flankers check that out even intense intense was one that people really couldn't find the intense was on there and the alifali check it out so this is alifali caress it's creamy it's pretty and i kept getting whiffs of it and with like one or two sprays i haven't given it a full wear but that was in the evening and it seemed like it's going to last and project so glad i have it so last but not least this one i ordered off of makari i did not get a box i had a box for this one i forgot to say that i threw the box away and I must have threw the Rolling in Love box away too. Um, but this one I did not get a box for. This is <clears throat> Tom. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Tom for Soleil Neige. So I'm so glad I have this. This is a pretty. Like it's a um, slightly fruity almost fresh type fragrance to me love that sprayer it has like an effervescence at the top it's sparkly at the top to me it has i don't know if this has some tuberose in it but it smells like it might have that bubble bubble gum thing going on a little bit in the background This is fresh and pretty. It's, um, it's a lighter scent to me. I do like this. I'm glad I have it. I have the oil to go with this. So that's what made me interested in this. Because when I smelled the oil, <clears throat> I liked the fragrance that was coming from it. But this is stronger, of course. I have not given it a full wear yet. Um... I may be wearing this soon with the oil just to um, see how it performs. I really like this. This is pretty. I got a good deal on it. And it's Soleil Neige by Tom Ford. So glad I have it. I don't know how much I'm going to wear it for the winter, even though it's supposed to be like a winter freshie. This seems to me... Like it could be worn in the summertime, just like the other, um, like Soleil Blanc. I have that one, and that was beautiful when I wore it in the hot weather. And I'm thinking this one would play just as well in the hot weather. But I am going to try it in the cold weather since that's what it was made for. But yeah, this is a nice fragrance. It's not loud. It's not projecting. This is one that's going to sit closer to your skin. But it has like a elevated, more sophisticated type scent to it. A sophisticated freshie. There you go. All right. So that's time for it. Soleil Neige. So that is it for all of the fragrances that I bought in January. I still think that I went 
well, I did. I went over, not overboard per se, as far as what I was doing last year, but overboard for my um girl, my budget. <laughs> I gave myself a budget and I did go over by a few hundreds. So I did reel it in. I've already spent my budget for February and it's not quite February. So I'm going to have to just look and not press send. <laughs> so please leave me a like, share the video, leave a comment, of course. Let me know what have you bought so far for January. Oh, I forgot one. Girl. Okay. I forgot one. I also bought YSL um, Audi Parfum Odor Over Red. So I said I'm going to call this, or Black Opium, might I say, Black, El Black Opium Red. That's it for me. That is the name. But yes, so as you, as you can see, I did try it. This was just a one day try. And for me, I'm going to let this sit let it marinate and i think that it's going to get better the fragrance is nice it just didn't blow me away let me spray a little bit yeah i i still have the same idea i think it's nice but i think it's going to get better as it sits and so i'm going to wait for it to for it to develop it smelled similar to Lee Parfum with, to me with just a little bit of fruit sweetiness. Sweetiness. Sweetness. Why everything coming out like bubble gum? It smells like cherry bubble gum to me. I want everything to have some effervescence and that's what it seems like now. I don't recall... Getting that the first time I wore it. But yeah, it's nice. I just don't think that it's doing all that it's going to do in a few months. I think it's going to get really good. I think it's going to be just as good as Lee Parfum. It's just not there yet. When I, I remember first smelling Lee Parfum and I was not impressed, but I kept going back to the store every couple of weeks, months, and it just got beautiful. And I think that's what's going to happen with this. Even though some people are really liking it off the bat, for me, I think it has some development to do. Developing. So, yes, as I was saying that's the end. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, or ordered and picked up six fragrances. I actually have another 10 mil that's Bath and Body Works. I did not pay for that, but I'll go get it. Just show it to you real quick. Okay, so this one I got with a reward from Bath and Body Works. This is Calypso Clementine. So it is their um, purse perfume spray. And this is a orangey scent. Uh -uh. Yeah, this is an orangey scent. I like it. I think they did a good job with it. Um, but yeah, if you like orange, fresh, citrusy type scents, Then you like this. It has that, it has like that fresh orange peel that when that the bubbles that come out, not the bubbles, but the fragrance that comes out when you first bust open your orange. I'm getting that. So I like it. Okay, so that's it. That's all. Thank you for watching. So glad you're here with me. I appreciate you all. Have a good day. Bye bye. Gotta get my thumbnail, y'all.